big breakthrough wasn't just that electricity is what's in neurons, but as soon as that was applied in the shape of the telegraph system, then people immediately drew an analogy both ways. They said, look, the telegraph system with in the UK in the 1840s, with all the telegraph wires going down to London, what people said is London is like the brain of the country, and it receives information from the provinces, and it can also send instructions out and tell the body politic what to do. And hey, we look at the nervous system because they have fabulous dissections of the human nervous system. It's all going up into the brain and uh, you know, motor neurons coming down, etc. So this parallel was now we've gone from water, well, that doesn't really make much sense, oh, something electric. Now we've got a, a real communication metaphor of the telegraph system. And this chap called Alfred Smee, he was absolutely convinced that literally this was what was going on inside the nervous system. And he even invented the facts. He said, if you could get a photoelectric cell and send an image down a telegraph wire, you could, should be able to reproduce it at the other end. So you'd actually get a, and that's what's going on in your eyes, he said, going into your brain. And he drew these amazing diagrams, which when I show them to computation neuroscientists, they get so excited because it looks like a primitive version of uh, large language models that everybody's excited about these days, all these crisscross interactions. <laughs> 